Oh, technology is a is a is a is an amazing thing. You know, um, when you look at the the fact that uh, ten years ago we had to send uh, uh, telefaxes uh, and use uh, two-way radios to send messages for orders. You know, if you wanted new, more letters, uh, we would have to send a message with the pilot. The pilot would have to give it. It was always a big thing. But today, uh, we are able to send an email from camp instantly sending the order. You know, it sounds again, you know, we take these things for granted, email and internet and stuff. But can you imagine you're in the most remote place in the world and you can have a WhatsApp video call. You can upload your, your, your video production that you're filming now instantly. Uh, the world can immediately be in touch with some of the most, the untamed parts of the planet. Unfortunately, with great technology comes the danger of it. You know, now, uh, it's sad, I'm saddened to see people walking around camp instead of looking at the flora and fauna, their heads are inside their phones. So, you know, we have to also find ways of keeping them fully attentive to what is, what is really, truly an, an amazing thing around them. But, you know, it is technology and we have, the whole world is having to adapt to how we apply it. But technology also is allowing us to better understand how we conserve. You know, the, 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 the management around conservation, we're able to get a lot more data, a lot more linkages, a lot more crushing of numbers to really understand the habits, the habitats of, you know, a good example would be the, the wild dog, you know, where we've been able to really identify the you know, different, different groups, different packs, and their behaviors and their movements. And so, the, the, so the technology can really uh, be very helpful in conservation, uh, and it certainly is helpful in this, uh, from an operational level. But uh, yeah, I know it's an interesting time. I mean, uh, we are now, ex ex as I said, exploring uh, electric vehicles and, uh, you know, uh, and, and just ways of how you monitor the movement of these vehicles so we can limit how much uh, f through fare goes onto certain roads. You know, so if we know there's a, 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 a birthing, you know, a cub, a den of, 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 of wild dogs or hyena, we can then, we can avoid vehicles going into an area by, by managing it from, from a central location. So it's, it's stuff like that, that the technology really becomes uh, very clever for us, but also really, really you know, helpful in, in the conservation uh, uh, initiatives. We pray there isn't another uh, COVID type catastrophe for our industry. I mean, we shut down our business, you know, without guests. There is no business, you know, we, we, we literally have, but we couldn't stop conserving because because we had no guests doesn't mean we don't have to continue managing our, our concessions because if we just left them, uh, uh, then we would have lost everything. So it was a very difficult time. So we pray that that doesn't happen. So what we're now working towards is, uh, uh, is, is just mitigation around that. What would we do? And how would we approach it? Would we, what lessons did we learn from this, 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 this pandemic? The other thing, obviously, is going to be always a challenge for, 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 for market. The world is opening up uh, and, and wilderness is finding that competition is growing. You know, consumers have a choice, you know, and they're fickle. You know, like I said, the consumer is now choosing shorter terms to travel. But it's also much more like never before are we finding that people are prepared to try something new. Right. So multi repeats or people who come often to us uh, may just turn around one day and say, ah, let me try something else. Um, and all it takes is just, a, you know, and this is why it's so important that, sir, you know, uh, tourism is a mindset for all of us that although they're not visit, you know, although a guest arrives at the immigration office uh, and, you know, we always use this as an example in the industry, but nothing to, nothing to insult immigration officers. But all it takes is one immigration officer having a bad day to be rude to a person. And that could be the last time that person comes back. Um, or, or, the, or, the, or, or the reputation gets out there that Botswana Bantajan. Uh, we can't afford that. And I think these are the kind of things, because we are in such a competitive market, we really need to be fully aware of how the value chain can be affected by things that seem totally disconnected. You know, someone gets sick and they need to go to the, the, the clinic, and the clinic mistreats them. They may never come back. Or, or, or again, the reputation gets out. So my, I think the risk, the real risk to Botswana or tourism in the region, not just Botswana, is competition. As the world opens up, uh, South America will open up, the Caribbeans will open up, uh, the Far East will open up, people will travel. The last thing is I actually think, not last thing, but one of the bigger uh, things is that I really find it strange how we as Africans choose to travel far. We fly over the Delta and over the Victoria Falls and over Cape Town 
uh, to go far away because we always say these things will be here someday. We'll go and visit them at a later date. Um, I, I, I think that in itself creates its own risk because if we are not going to be promoters and, and consumers of our own assets and our own uh, properties, uh, why, how do we think others will want to do the same? And I think it's, it is a, it's a mindset that we as a, as a continent need to change because we've got some fantastic things to offer and we've got some fantastic people. And, uh, you know, we, we, I think the risk, the greatest risk to, uh, for us in the future will be that competition will just make it so difficult, so, so many choices for the consumer that uh, we may not have that voice as we have today. Thank you.